Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Lucky Tanking back with another video. Um, so Suicide Squad Killer Justice League has the in the first insider. We're gonna be getting story and gameplay. Uh, the video looks like it's about tw uh, 19 minutes and 29 seconds, so expect a little bit of longer video. But I mean, we might as well just jump right on in. I'm super excited for this game. I know a lot of people have a lot of worries go going on, like have a lot of bad thoughts, but. I mean, I have faith that Rocksteady's gonna do their thing. They made all the Arkham games, and I'm excited for the game no matter what. Just because I'm a diehard DC fan. Where are we going? And who are we killing? Harley. I'm Darius Sadegian, studio director at Rocksteady Studios. Okay. My name is Axel Ridby, and I'm the game director here. Eyes up, people! Let's go! At Rocksteady, storytelling and character depth are the core DNA of our game. These are not features, but Rocksteady fundamentals. With Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, I mean, we wanted to tell a new story. We wanted okay. to expand the Arkhamverse. Arkhamverse. Coming from Batman, where it was just from his perspective, just from his lens. Now getting to see the world through the villain's eyes was really the hook for us. Yeah, it is awesome. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a third-person action shooter that can be played solo or with your friends. Okay. It's a story-driven game or with that highlights friends. Rocksteady's experience in bringing characters to life. As a Suicide Squad, you'll be forced to take on an absolute impossible mission. You must kill the Justice League. We want the mechanics of the game to really reflect the personalities of the squad. I'm always first on the trigger. We want their moves to be flamboyant, exaggerated, Chaotic. Boomer, bro, Boomer looks so lit, bro, just because he has like a speed force now, type thing. Now, our four members of Task Force X find themselves inside Metropolis. At twice the size of Gotham City in Arkham Knight. Dang, what? Twice the it's size? It's loud, Jesus. it's a battlefield. It's a place oh, no, built for verticality God, and mobility with a unique fusion of enhanced traversal, gunplay, and melee weapons creating a super villain empowerment that we think is a totally original gameplay experience. Okay. There was just an opportunity that there to good, expand bro. into co-op and have this dynamic world where friends can come together to share an experience. Or players can go solo, switching character members between missions while savoring each and every story twist. Do you feel it? The swell of pride for what we have accomplished together. We want to welcome you all to the first episode of our new series, Suicide Squad Insider, where we will provide a deeper look into Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Okay. Over the next few months, we'll be unpacking the game, answering your questions and sharing a few surprises as we move closer to our launch on February 2nd. We'll also cover how Rocksteady will continue to support the game and its players post-launch with a huge amount of free content. On this episode, you're going to hear from different members of the Rocksteady team as we explore more of the game's story, the world of Metropolis, and the core gameplay experience. The Suicide Squad. A fitting moniker. Let's jump into it. Suicide Squad Insider Story and Gameplay for Episode 1. Normally, when you make a game in a superhero universe, the protagonist is the best person oh, for the job. Flash. The squad are definitely That's not cool. the best people for this job. They're the only people available. Hey, Suicide Squad! Fuck you! <laughs> so it gives the narrative and the gameplay Bro, a kind it? of frantic, okay. slightly panicked feeling where they are trying to figure this out as they go. Yo. Oh. The Arkham games weren't gritty because Rocksteady makes gritty, dark games. They were that way because that's what suits a Batman story. Every game we approach, we approach that with a similar mindset of just like, how do we enhance that experience? How do we excite players in new ways? Yeah. For the it, studio it to try bad, something honestly. new and stretch our legs, they shoot first with the high powerful traversal elements, was coming out of our comfort zone somewhat, but we wanted to see what we could do to put an Arkham spin on the action shooter space. Now okay. get your damn gun out! In true Rocksteady style, the cinematics are kind of the heart of our story. It's the most cinematics that we've ever done, and every one of them is crafted to perfection. We're not just trying to do what we did before, we're making something which fits the source material that we think will make for an interesting story, but will feel different. Okay. To introduce you to our story, let's jump into an early part of the game. An early part? Oh shit. Amanda Waller, the director of the government agency Argus, sends the team behind enemy lines into Metropolis. Harley Quinn, should you not be more cautious? She ain't wired that way. Oh, Deadshot, 
Hidden in an underground train station, the team finds a secret elevator. Until we figure out where the hell we are, let's play along with Mauler. Oh, is this a superhero museum? Hate superheroes. What the hell? And museums. <clears throat> They're in the Hall I've seen of it on Justice, TV. bro. It's the Hall of Justice. That's sick. So let's rob the place. <clears throat> Get down. Uh, I got Horse Boomer. The graphics look good too, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Through these doors lies the inner sanctum of the Justice League. Sounds very grand, doesn't Grand's it? Turn. And it is. She's a dame who can almost make me listen to a boring PSA. Don't touch anything that's going to set off an alarm. I ain't fighting any supers for you. I have read much yeah, about the wants. Justice League, and still they are larger than I expected. Those holograms aren't actual size, Shark Man. It's so true to the characters that they're in Hall of Justice and the first thing they think is, what can we steal? Oh shit. Speed Force Gauntlet. That's what Boomer's gonna take. Hey man, watch the- Ah! Shit! Glass. I'm okay. What the hell you got there? <laughs> Thought this baby was a myth. Speed Force Gauntlet. Back when Doc Savannah tried to lift Flash's gimmick. <laughs> oh yeah. You know that's for sure who I'm playing because Flash is my favorite character. I need a Flash video game, dog. Miss you, Red. R.P. Ivy on the god. That's awesome. So this is how they all get their traversal, I guess. Like this is what I'm assuming. What does King Shark take? What is that, Riddler's hat? You found the Riddler's hat of invisibility! <laughs> Bro, Harley's trolling this shit out of here. Where'd the shark go? Children. <laughs> Ooh, nothing says international assassin Good. like a freaking jetpack. Shit. I'd break my damn neck. You're probably right. Jetpacks seem more like a death drug thing anyway. <laughs> like a death drug. <laughs> Mine. I love that King Shark just has the Riddler's hat, bro. That uh, hat's not gonna get you vertical, Shark. I can make my own way up. Yes, sir. Yo. King Shark, yeah, bro. King Shark, sick. Come on now, he's sick, boy. Well, tickle me stupid, shark can fly. All right, new toys, loaded guns. Let's get up on that roof and get our freedom back. Yes, sir, bro. I want, I'll, I'll honestly play probably everybody, but like, bro, Boomer looks so much fun. So here we're taking these iconic characters who don't typically traverse the way they do in our game. But that's the beauty of our storytelling. We've managed to take these unique abilities and make that an extension of their personalities. Okay. Our power is undeniable! <laughs> King Shark looks fun too. Yo, what the hell? We so love you working all with have Gotham, to be making that a world for players to experience. And we wanted to do that with a new location. <laughs> we felt that Metropolis was the natural next step to extend that. And what better way to introduce it than through an invasion from Brainiac with no Justice League to save them. Yeah, that's crazy. Brainiac's ship looks sick. Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? The entire game is about fighting behind enemy lines. Oi, Wallet! What the hell have you set us into? It's a bloody war zone out here. 
There's a giant skull in the sky! Congratulations, Task Force X. You're the first assets to make it into Metropolis alive. We're sending a oh, signal wow. transponder to your location. Air? No. So you're essentially bringing X backyard. Your orders are to activate that transponder. Harley's movement looks fun. Yeah. What the hell are those things? I mean, there's no civilians left. Bringing X killed them or made them into soldiers to do his bidding. And through this corruption, the people of Metropolis have become extensions of Rainy. Okay, okay. Hey guys! What the hell? Thinking I shouldn't eat that extra tapioca pie Green Lantern! What the player knows from our title, and what the Suicide Squad is about to find out, is that here, the Justice League are the bad guys. They've been corrupted by Brainiac, and over the course of the game, your mission will be to kill them. Ugh, oh, Green bro. Green Lantern, nice. I'm gonna kill the Justice League. Hey, I need video games with all of them. Your face always looks so... what? Harley doesn't have any innate superpowers, so to go up against oh, these beings strong. that have incredible Man. strength, it's, it's a challenge. I'm in the middle of a recon for Brainiac. Let's walk and talk. <laughs> You're talking about, you know, the all-star team of super yeah, shark, here. Okay. I want you to see this. Pay attention, Floyd. What the hell? Let me go Please! Get out. Get out. Oh my god! That's bad. Feels worse. What the hell? But once you've been in hand, Yo! There's no going back. Outstanding. When you face off against the most iconic characters in all of superhero them in the Justice League, it's by many uh, people's definition an impossible task. Yo! Searching for stragglers. <laughs> Augmenting Brainiac's army. The shot gets it. The stakes that Rocksteady sets, the challenges Scott they heap Porter's upon you as a player. Like that. Time to rally up with Brainiac. Ready to make the leap? You know immediately, Wait, like, this is the tallest task Bro, I've no ever way take on in a video game. Yo, my boy. My boy Flash. Flash! Brainiac wondered how you got off the ship. Speedster secret. The League doesn't leave anyone behind. Let's make you right, buddy. Wait, you so know, Flash isn't infected That's yet. just what I was gonna say. Holy You're gonna be shit. fighting the Justice League. Hey, Metropolis. There's now nothing bad. more high stakes than the boss battles we have in this game. These are gods like Green Lantern, Batman, Superman, The Flash. So, what's the plan? At that point, the game really opens up. We start to see players look at their weaponry and really okay. ask the question, like, how am I gonna kill the Justice League? I don't... Yeah, looking forward to killing the Justice League and all, but, uh, well, you know, these guns are a bit shit. <laughs> no offense. Then head northwest. That's the last known of a Gotham arms dealer who's dug into Metropolis. Oswald Cobblepot. The freaking penguin! You want to last more than ten seconds against the League? Cobblepot's been running anti-meta weapons for years. I want him recruited and brought back to the Hall of Justice. Oh, I'm gonna recruit the shit out of him. <laughs> Since Batman Arkham Knight, the Penguin is no longer confined to Gotham City. He's made a name for himself in Metropolis as the authority on anti-meta human weapons. Now, Waller wants the squad to Jesus, recruit him bro, the map August. looks massive I see from this point of view. Holy equipment. shit. You'll need it to stay off the streets. That Setting is a new recon point. point. Go. At the heart of each character's playstyle is their traversal. Traversal gives the player total freedom. Bigger, but Every character has their own way of getting around that determines how the player moves through this world. Don't like to boast, but how great was I? That was so much fun, bro. Controlling a superhero character is fun, makes a power fantasy for all players. We wanted movement through the city to be fun. Just existing and moving around in Metropolis is a good time. Metropolis is quite a normal city. Well, as normal as a city can be in this universe. <laughs> Bro, we spent a good. lot of time trying to get that art direction correct, trying to get it the feel great. for it correct. You get to see all the kind of DC lore that fills this space. Let me do the talking with oh, Penguin, the okay? The green lantern, that Not just a hell? building, it's a daily planet. You know, there's a lot we can inject into the city that makes it more than just a city. Oh, you see penguin the little... is not truly a penguin. <laughs> yeah, mate. And I'm not a boomerang. It is known for its size, its scale. Anything from the DC law, you look at Metropolis as the city of tomorrow. When did Penguin get out anyway? 
He was barely in. Money talk, creep block, you know. Hey, there is a that. classic flash suit there. Standy. It's just a great way for players to experience Metropolis in a new way. See, like, I'm hoping that we don't have to actually kill him because that would be sick of rocks that he gets to make a whole bunch of games. Like, <laughs> a flash game. Green Lantern game. G'day, Pango. Kind of Remember me? No. Ain't this a right rose gallery? Who's the big bleeder? Think his cousin used to work for me. Ooh, which one? Uh, both come out of the surface. <laughs> We're getting the hell out of the city before Argus finds us. You in? But we are working for Argus. You bloody what? Real slick, Shark. Good talk. Nice catching up. Give my regards to the locals. Oh King Shark, come on. <laughs> Bro, like that, Traversal is at the very core of our game. Too. You will need to be on the move and master each character's movements if you want to succeed. All this grapple is made to let you take advantage of the environment to quickly get out of troublesome situations. Or she can use it to quickly close the distance to introduce them to her I like baseball. Can, like, shoot in with Harley. You can use Swinging from the background lets her circumvent the trooper's shields and flank them. Because there is some melee, count, melee combat, which is. Good. It can also let her catapult herself into the air to shoot the corrupted from above. Now that you've seen some of Harley's combat in this scene, let's explore the rest of the squad's unique playstyles in other encounters. Captain Boomerang, Boomerang uses a mix between sniper rifles, SMGs, and shotguns. What's cracking? Each character has an iconic melee attack like that can be used can to create what we call it. juggle kills and also break enemies' shields. Juggling an enemy with a melee attack means they take guaranteed critical hits oh, from all guns so for a short period fun. after. This is exactly Shoot why we enemies need in their legs video and then close the distance to do a shield harvesting strike to get some shield back. So Let's shift focus to King Shark. <laughs> Cause to celebrate. King Shark is literally death from above, which he gladly <laughs> shows with his Atlantean drop attack. Atlantean He's the character attack. that can take so the most punishment. Heavy weapons, assault rifles, and shotguns, and his trusted cleavers, sickles, and combat knives for some brawling action. For the so bigger like enemies, each shit. character okay, gets like a that. super powerful single target attack. The suicide strike. This one shots any enemy hit, but it takes longer to recharge, so it's important to use it tactically. Really Finally, dead shot. See, you're low caliber, and I'm high caliber. His traversal is made to let him create his own vantage points. This works great with his weapon loadout, sniper rifles, assault rifles, and pistols. For more up-close action, Deadshot relies on his iconic wrist cannons. That's cool. One thing we really wanted to bring into this game was a reimagined version of the Orc Encounter system, and mix that with our traversal and shooter gameplay. Introducing okay. Counter Shot. Each enemy has a different reaction to the Counter Shot. Some will okay. be stunned, some will take damage, some will be interrupted and then get really annoyed. Now let's take a look at Harley absolutely demolish Brainiac's forces with all these tools. So you, she used the one shot. Me. My show's all knock them dead material. It, bro, it looks fun. Like the combat actually looks pretty fun. I can see myself enjoying this. Oswald Cobblepot, my man. Do we have a job for you? Tell him, Quinn. You're making guns for us now, bird brain. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for episode one of Suicide Squad Insider. Ah! Sorry. What? I already started, so I followed through. <laughs> In the months leading up to our launch on February 2nd, 2024, we're looking forward to sharing more details and insights about okay. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. In our next episode, we'll be deep diving into more gameplay, combat mechanics, and how to take the fight to the enemy in your own unique style. Sick. I want to show you what happens what next. What the hell? Let's call it a sneak what, preview. Who? We really want players to feel like they explored all these characters that we bring to life in this DC universe. Like, I'm going to enjoy this. You're starting with characters who yeah, aren't very powerful, and through the story, you're That's learning how to use their skills and become powerful. We really wanted to deep dive into the RPG system. You have your enhanced traversal, you have gunplay, you have weapons, there are upgrades and unique talents. And all of that stuff fusing together to create this kind of unique experience. Together, we are unstoppable. 
destroy me. What the hell was that? Ivy, bro? Are you flying a big ass plant. No, but she died. But nobody else can control that. So. Yo. I love that. Free order and get the clap. Um, let's see. So, what? February 2nd, 2024. When are pre orders going out, bro? Obviously, uh, maybe soon, but look at that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I'm excited, bro. I, let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for this game. This is one of my most anticipated games for next year. Um, rather than we might be having a Wolverine come out next year too. And I'll probably be covering that, the trailers and stuff like that. More news on this. We'll be doing the Insider. Uh, we'll be doing every single time they do one, we'll be doing a video on it. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you guys go leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And... Make sure everybody has a good day, night, evening, wherever you're at in the world, and whatever time you're watching this at. And one last thing, just like always, peace and love.